for the perfecting of the saints. This is where we left from last week. Number one, these offices are for you, the saints. Come on, give God glory. Amen. Most of these brothers and sisters around saying the apostles are using it to exalt themselves, mm. to lift up their name and their ministry, mm. and to start something for people to follow them. That's not the call of an apostle. The oh, apostle no. is the chief servant of the church. Mm. When you're an apostle, you have the humblest heart and the most desirable heart to serve, even if, it, if, if, if it's your last strength, you're called to serve the body of Christ. When a person is an apostle, they're called to serve. Amen. Like Paul started out, Paul the prisoner. When you're an apostle, you're really a prisoner of the Lord. You have no life, amen? amen. You, you have no, you're called to the body of Christ. They, I, I accepted the apostolic and the role, uh, the office of an apostle, I'm called to the body of Christ. See, no matter who in church, and in, I call to this for life. When folks sleep in, my heart is thinking about the house of God, the people of God. When I drive around through the day, you think about lunch, I'm thinking about, God, how can we win this city? See, that's what he deals with me with. What's the next thing we can do to evangelize? How can we get more souls? How can we strengthen the, the, the pastors and the leaders? How can I educate them? How can, who else can I partner with? What, see, that's how God deals with me. I accepted a call for the perfecting of God's people. What book, what tape, what new online media? You hear me talking about stuff? You hear, never hardly hear me talk about me. Because I'm a prisoner. When you're a prisoner, you have no freedom. You can find to a certain space and place mm -hmm. and under the instructions of people who tell you where they live, you being there when we visited 